Captain Amboy, there's a building preserving history which is being saved by community pride. The railroad uh, before the uh, First World War was, uh, was very much a, a large part of the city uh, in the driving force behind our population. It's quiet now. The people and hurried atmosphere are gone, but the depot remains. The style of the building is called a uh, Italian Renaissance, and we're told uh, through the Historical uh, Preservation Agency that it's the only one of its kind that was ever built in this country, and obviously the only one then that was ever saved. This building was uh, built in uh, 1876. It was started, finished in 1877. And uh, each room, each one of the 17 rooms how, uh, served a specific purpose. And for many years there were uh, quarters where people could stay overnight and catch the passenger uh, train out of here the next morning. Once this was the major hub for the Illinois Central and the stop between Decatur and Freeport. In front ran 23 parallel tracks placed so close together that only inches separated the rolling stock. Surrounding the depot was a myriad of support and repair buildings, now all gone. The only tracks that remain lay underneath this 1929 locomotive. It's uh, the last uh, locomotive who hauled passenger service in this country. It has well over a million miles on it and is, is uh, told to us as to be the, the, uh, the locomotive which has carried more passengers than any other locomotive ever built in this country. And while the exterior restoration is done, the interior is waiting its turn. Inside, plaster walls crack with age in rooms where pieces of equipment lay scattered about. In one corner, the radio seems ready to receive and transmit orders to passing freight trains. Above hangs the rate notification of 1941, stating basic pay was now 36 cents an hour. Well, this room was originally the ladies' waiting room. To my left was the, uh, was the men's waiting room, but uh, back in those years, uh, uh, things were, uh, were obviously uh, segregated by gender. Behind me was the original ladies' dressing room. Uh, in 1940, uh, after passenger service was discontinued, that room was changed to a freight room. In the original freight room, the old vault stands open. Inside, the walls are lined with the handwritten names of some of those who once worked at the depot. And among the names is this reference to smashed cars from 1913. The event that that mentions is one that there is a picture around here uh, somewhere depicting uh, the actual uh, uh, train crash and it almost knocked the building down. There were I think uh, 23 cars uh, that went over the, uh, were tipped over here. And it shows piles and piles of coal and men climbing on the cars. But the depot is more than echoes of railroading memories. Its upper floor, once offices and guest rooms, has become Amboy's Museum, an idea that began with a ton of rocks. There was a gentleman that lived in Amboy for many, many years, uh, and his name was Arthur Bloker. He was a professor, traveled the country at his own expense, and he knew more about fossils and rocks and things than anybody that we have ever met. A lot of these are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. There are mastodon tooths up there, there are fish vertebrae, there are things that he's found in quarries in the southwest, as well as this area right here. And it's all up there and a part of our history. So too is farming. On display is a collection of plows and planters that date back to the early 1900s and were donated by area families. But one unique item has to be a special seat. We have a chair up there that uh, Abraham Lincoln, when he visited Amboy in 1856, uh, uh, believe it or not, uh, uh, got a shave in. And that chair is upstairs. And uh, when we uh, complete our restoration, that chair will have a most prominent spot. But for some, it's the pictures that hold the most fascination. Pictures of the people who gave this town its character, staring back at future generations. Pictures that are now preserved in the building around which their lives once revolved.
Each year, Amboy holds a Depot Days Festival to help raise money to finance the continued restoration effort. And for information about the Amboy Depot Museum, call 815-857-3814.